you have come to the right place. Like Nindy said, my name is Robert. I'm the casting director here on the second unit. Part of my job is the casting of background talent. <coughs> now you may ask yourself, you know, what is background? Well, background plays a very important part in film production. It helps bring scenes to life. Now background can be a lot of things. It could be, well, it could be physical bodies in the back, you know, in the background, the foreground of scenes walking around, you've seen that. It could also mean sound effects, voices, crowd reactions. And today, we're going to capture all of you as our background voices. You're going to see a lot more action out here this afternoon. So we need some big reactions from all of you. When you see something you love, something exciting, some stuff that brings you to the edge of your seat, we need you to yell and scream and make a lot of noise. Can you do it? I believe you can. All right, let's do a rehearsal. Let's see what you got, okay? We'll check in with Greg, our audio engineer in the booth. Good afternoon, Greg. We're gonna capture some levels on you. Here's the rehearsal. I'm gonna say action. I want you all to scream as if you're standing on a trap door. It opens up and you fall into a pit of angry, venomous snakes. Action! <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. That was a level on that, Greg. Good level, excellent. Now by a show of hands, how many people have seen an Indiana Jones film before? You, look at all those hands go up, right? All right, let me ask you this, how many people are looking forward to Indy number five next summer, June 30th? Yes, we're excited about that one. Now in addition to all the action in those films, there's a lot of lighthearted moments, right? There's moments that make us laugh. This time when I say action, I want you all to give me a great big goofy belly laugh. Action! <laughs> I'm in a better mood now. I love that. I'm going to test your range. Try pitching that laugh up, up, up a few octaves. Go high. Go squeaky with it. Try laughing like giggling chipmunks like Chip and Dale. Action! Like that? They are good. Let's check in with Greg. Did we get what we needed? We did. Give yourselves a round of applause, everyone. You're going to make this next team sound terrific. Then you are ready to go. Thank you so much, Robert. Terrific work as always. And now there's one more person I would like to introduce you to. Hey, boss? Yeah. Hey, you have a moment? One second. You guys get this in one, all right? Back up. And stay safe. Hit your marks, all right? Let's go. All right. So he is the stunt coordinator and director of the second unit. Please put your hands together for my boss. This is Zach. Hey, everyone. Woo Thank you so much. I'm so glad you could join us today. We have a lot of exciting stuff to show you, and I hope you're going to love it. Now, one of the best things about working on an Indiana Jones film set are the stunt sequences. They're thrilling. They're dangerous. I think we can all agree they look pretty good on film. Speaking of film, yeah. can we go over the camera work that we talked Absolutely. about Absolutely, yeah. Let's just review what we talked about. We're going to be working with both camera A and camera B, both shooting live. Camera A over there on the frame will shoot at 36 frames per second instead of just 24. That gives you a beautiful slow motion option on the high fall with routine. Now, camera B on the dolly is actually going to remain stationary. I know you had some thoughts on that, that second uh, mark with the truck. Yeah, on that last shot, go ahead and get a three-quarter shot. You got it. All right. Whoa, camera. Sounds pretty good. 
What do you think about the changes I made to the whip routine? Oh, I love the changes, boss. Well, let's put them in then. Yeah. All right, you ready? All right. Uh, Rachel, come in for a second. We'll go over the scene with you two. And uh, hey, Noah, at hey, the top of the scene, I need you to drive the truck around, avoid the mats, and hit your mark, all right? Got it. All right, got it. All right, you two, okay, at the top of the scene, there's going to exit from around the clothes racks, all right? I think it's going to be very casual if you're shopping in the Cairo Marketplace. Right. We're going to pick up the action soon as we get to the mats. Any questions at all? None. All right, let's hit your marks, get in one, and be safe, all right? Minnie, let's lock it down. All right, you got it, boss. We're at places. Rachel, Kevin, good to go. Thank you so much. Front team, are you ready? Front team, ready. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Cameras are ready. Cameras ready. Right on the set. Roll cameras. Rolling. Speed. Tom is 16, 124, Apple. Cairo encounter. Take one mark. Way back. Back Action. Every single flame and fire effect and explosion are carefully controlled by our expert team of technicians that you see seated in the booth and all around set today. We couldn't do any of this without them. Please join me in, please join me in giving them all a well-deserved round of applause.
Now, they work very closely with another person on my set who's also responsible for that last effect. Uh, Steve, come here for a second, please. Folks, let me introduce you to our demolitions expert and the person who's responsible for the last fire effects. This is Steve. Hey, everybody. Hey. And Bob, hey, Steve, how are you doing, sir? I'm all right. Looking big. Listen, uh, I was just telling them how dangerous explosives were, and you have a very interesting job as our demolitions expert. I was going to ask you if you could tell us in your own words about the dangers of working with explosives. All right, here you go. When you work with explosives, it's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. All right. That sums it up. All right, okay, Steve. That's that's you know, what I said before. So if you could do me a favor, could you could you elaborate a little bit more? You got maybe a demonstration. demonstration. In all seriousness, like Zach already said, all the flame effects you see here today, they are performed in a safe, controlled setting. And even uh, the illusion of ricochets hitting the cement, these are just a blast of compressed air. Check it out. All right, all right. Thank you, Steve. That was great. Great. Uh, well, all that being said, folks. Uh, you know, I bet you, I bet you'd be surprised that actually more performers get hurt during a simple fight routine than they do in, you know, you know elaborate stunts like the one you see before with the fire effects. That's because it takes timing, practice, and coordination to really make it look like you're hitting someone. Kind of uh, sell it, as we say in the business. Instead of talking about it, you know what? Let me show you. Um, hey, Nico. I mean, Nicolai, come here for a second. I'm sorry. Folks, let me introduce you to one of our best fight performers on set today. This is Nicola. Oh, that. You know that? I'm going to talk about a little bit of a demonstration. You need, need a partner for that. Hey, Rachel, come in for a second, please. All right, now, you two, I was just telling the audience how difficult it is to do some fire team. Right. Don't do it the right way. Of course. And I was wondering if you could give them a demonstration. I'd love to, oh. boss. <laughs> yeah, but not with me. Oh. With each other. Sir? Okay, yes. You please. want to help? Well, you, no, you got it. You got it. <laughs> All right, he's right. You got this. Let's show them those punches we've been working on. Let's go over here. Yeah, this will work. You ready? So in a fight routine, taking a punch is really just as important as throwing one. Ah! Ah, that was amazing! Well done! Go ahead and set up the second one. Now as you can tell, somebody could get hurt if you don't have the right timing. about a simple fight routine. It was. Not for him. Yeah. Here, do me a favor. Go ahead and fix this, please. Fix this. All right. Um, everybody, something like this normally takes a lot more rehearsal. Or a lot of stunt performers. That's right, boss. We've got more of those, so I'm actually going to borrow Kevin. No, 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 Let's get set for the next scene. Speaking of the next scene, the desert scene. This is where Indian and Marion come are trying to escape an enemy encampment somewhere in the North African desert. Hey, uh, no. For a second, please. Folks, this is where Indy comes face to face with a heavy hitting mechanic played by my stunt actor. This is Noah. Hey, everybody. No, I'm on. No, no, no. All right. Now, I was just telling the audience about you being a stunt actor. I was wondering if you could tell the difference between stunt actor and stunt doubles like uh, Kevin. Rachel, come here and help, please. Yeah, you got it, Bob. Got it. Well, folks, as a stunt actor, I play the role of the mechanic throughout this entire scene, which means I do all of my own stunts, and I do not need a stunt double. Which brings me to Kevin. He's just a stunt double. Thank you, Noah. 
Well, I'm just a stunt double. It's my job to make you believe I'm Harrison Ford. That's right, and that I'm Karen Allen. Exactly. Big stars like Harrison Ford and Karen Allen, they love to do a lot of their own stunt work, but sometimes the risk of injury is just too great. If a big star was to get injured on set, that could shut down this entire production. Whereas if no one gets injured on set, we just find somebody else. Besides, if Harrison and I do our jobs correctly, even our own friends will have a hard time telling us apart. I was going for a change in three, just made it. Just one little difference between you and Harrison Ford. What's that? Two hundred million dollars. <laughs> uh, all right, you two. Let's save that for the scene, okay? Now, uh, the change I just made recently is going to kind of affect you mostly. I don't know. The gunner on the hill fires down in Indy. All right. Okay. I want you to panic all of the controls and start turning that thing around the circle. Okay. I said, hey, hey, this is where the change comes in. It's going to be between these two. Right. On that first rotation. All right. That's what I want you to follow the machine gun, fire those rounds accidentally up in the air. Oh yeah, okay? sure. All right. I want to get the action between these two. I love it. Any questions, anybody? Done. All right, let's do it. A lot of action this next scene. All right, let's hit your marks to stay safe. All right. Many, let's lock it down. Places, please. Places. Folks, this last scene is a culmination of all the effects you've seen so far. What you're about to watch cannot take place without the whole entire cast and crew working together as a team to bring to you what we like to, what we like to call the Indiana Jones. Epic, stun spectacular. All right, team. Lock it down, baby. All right, we are at final places, please. Alejandro, you're set on the hill. Thank you. See the facts ready? We're all set. Beautiful. Indy Marion, good to go. Cameras are ready. Cameras ready. We're on the set. Roll cameras. Speed. Comma 16 3, Charlie. Desert flight. Take one mark. What do we got? Action.
Thank you so much for joining us. Join us today here in this Hollywood studio. Come on.